Another guy, Seth, that that missed your cut, Luka Doncic. I'm a little surprised he didn't make your top five. I mean, he's obviously he's having a great year. They're they're winning games. He's putting up numbers that are just kind of. I mean, it feels like a video game. In in my defense, uh, the the Mavs have I have have not I think lost since I wrote that, so their record is a little. They I believe they were in they were at best in the play in spots when I wrote that, and so that was I. You know, it's a it's a they're still in the play in. So yeah, okay, yeah. So it's a it is um, it's always a little Ooh, bit controversial. Of how relief much, right there. Yeah, how much to take. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, they, they did get they did get beat by the the Jawless Grays last night. Um, it it um, it's always a bit controversial how much team success should play into like MVP consideration, and I think it's I think it's your your right to consider it somewhat. And so, like you look at where they are, and then you look at where the guys the the, the guys I had in the top five were uh, in sort of reverse order were Kawhi, Giannis, Jokic, Embiid, and Shea Gilgis Alexander. I mean. Those guys are all like top, top two, top three seeds on top two, top three seeds and like the driving force on top two, top three seeds. Now, some of it is, yes, talent around them, but it's also to, you know, OK, to get into those situations, you're that means you're you're winning games both in that group and against uh, against uh, Boston and the other the other top teams in the league. And, and those wins are harder. And so the guys on those teams are assisting their teams to get those harder wins. No, the who you beat matters, I think, in this conversation a little bit, um, which is funny because you could probably use that to ding Joel Embiid as well, who's second on your list. But the fact that the Mavs are 8-12 and 12 against teams that are above 500 is a little bit problematic in that regard, you know. And, and I think team success matters in the NBA. I think I, I – think it, you can make a big difference in that sense and I think look the Mavs are going to be fine and they're rolling I haven't felt like Luca as great as he is and he's averaging career high in points and everything and all of that stuff I just haven't felt like his impact on the league has been that uh MVP caliber type of stuff and it's crazy because he is shooting a career high from three he's finally hitting a decent three-point percentage which is something that we haven't seen in a very long time with him. And I, I I think that's a actually ever. And I think that's a big one, but I just don't feel like there's an impact with what he he has had in terms of other years where I felt like he was more impactful around the league where we were like, Holy shit this year. It's not been so much. There's so many other guys that get the Holy shit moments. And I think that matters in the MVP conversation. I mean, it is it, as much as people want to complain about narratives in awards. I think the MVP is one where the narrative it, it's rightly included in the award. I, I, I think that it is, you know, these awards and, and we talked about this quite a bit over the years. They should tell the story of the season. You know, when I kick it back mm -hmm. and I think about the year that Russ won, won the MVP with the triple double, which in hindsight, you know, Oh, yeah, totally fine with that. It was an amazing season for him. In the moment, I thought Kawhi was the MVP. But in hindsight, it's like, no, that kind of tells the story of that season. I, I'm okay with it. I know Seth, I see Seth's face because I know in that hindsight, that's hindsight, I still point. think, I still yeah. think he, Kawhi was the – But uh, but it still told a, a, a story. And so, like, Mo, I think that you're on to something there, at least with the way I feel about it, you know. Not necessarily with my process, but I, I try to take those feelings into account. When I'm looking at this stuff. So we talked about Kawhi and he was fifth on your list, uh, uh, Seth. Go ahead, what, Mo. What, just one more point with the Luca thing. This also might be just a product of us being tired of Luca constantly being the guy that everybody thought was going to win the MVP and not over the past few years. And I, you know, like there was always that kind of waiting for him moment. And that might be unfair on him, but that might be what's also kind of the prejudice a little bit of the narrative, but it's not like he's doing anything we haven't seen him do before.